And one of the things I focused on, um, like making sure that I applied in Orcs vs. Wolves was the feel of listening in on Orc conversations. Because I listened to a few in these two games. And they do get pretty funny. Orcs have a very different way of looking at life and the world. And it's interesting and sometimes humorous. And I feel like that's one of the main benefits entertainment wise for getting into these kinds of stories and being immersed in these kinds of worlds is seeing how these completely different creatures look at things, how they view uh, life, the universe, philosophy, if they have that. It gets very interesting with orcs. Anything else I should do while I'm here? Oh, Outlaw Tribe stuff, yeah. Orcs from Outlaw Tribe are attacking the region. Okay. Oh, maybe I'll get that along the way, but I don't want to make it a quest marker because I might lose the Outlaw Tribe again. If I can see it on the map on my way there, then I'll do that. Oh yeah, Vendetta Missions. Forgot about that also. Where is it? There it is. Okay. This guy. Alright, details. What level is he? Oh, 24. That's much lower than I was expecting. Okay. Two kills, though. He's a repeat killer, so... What's he got that's making him so dangerous? Immune to execution. I don't see much that is that concerning. Oh, he heals himself during combat. Okay. Damaged by stealth attacks, so I may need to focus on that. We'll see. Enraged by mortal wounds. Okay, so what probably happens with this other player is that it kept like getting him down to low health and then he would get enraged and heal himself simultaneously. I can see that being a problem. Yeah. I might have to employ a different strategy with him. So, who was it? Eagle Eye Snai? I think that's how to pronounce that. Snai is probably actually initials. But maybe also a nickname. Eagle Eye S N Y Eagle Eye Snai. Yeah, either of those can be chanted. I think Snai sounds better. There shall be neither sound nor mercy here today. Okay then. There is a freaking dragon. I don't think I'll put that to use right now, though. Stealth kill Karagar Barters. What even is that? Barter? Bar like Bard is in... Bard... Ding? A guy who bards? 
I think that's just called a bard. I have never encountered that word before. <laughs> Four guys. That was fun. Okay. No, you don't. Alright, who's this guy? Can I... No, you can't stealth kill him while he's frozen. Okay. Dang it. Boy, I'm busy. I'm busy. You guys are being very rude. I see where'd that guy even go now? There he is. Nom 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 nom. There we go. I wonder if a Karagor still still counts. Let's see. Watch out. Okay. Being so stealthy right now. Oh dang. Still killed the wrong guy. Okay. Okay, okay. Right over. Talk. Did I encounter this guy before? Put your How did I get knocked off? Is he immune? Yeah, can't tell. Uh oh. Yeah, there's too many of these things. Where the heck am I? <laughs> okay. Jump off. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, get down. Level 30, I don't think I can recruit that yet. Actually. How do I end up all the way over here? Ooh, I see a barrel. I'm gonna put that to use. Apparently this guy's fireproof, so it doesn't really help. Yeah. That death took way too long. You have stuff. Give me your stuff. Thank you. What were you saying? I'm not talking back. I legitimately didn't hear. It's so weird when it does frost and fire at the same time. And I freeze a guy. And it's like, no, because he's fireproof. Therefore, he's okay. Just a ring? I don't need that. It's ended up taking longer than initially anticipated. I wonder if I can stealth kill a guy while riding a dragon. Or if that doesn't quite count as stealthy. I mean, if I can stealth kill with a Karagor, then you should be able to do it with a dragon. Is that guy just running away? Okay. 
As Gengor Slayer has arrived. Someone kills my followers from the shadows. Show yourself and be punished. Oh, those are Karagor paws he's got draped over him. At you. How did that not work with me tapping the X? That's not the case, it was definitely fast. Alright, stealth. And then... Was that telling me to do something or telling me that I had done something? Watch out. Alright. Oh yeah. Immediately forgot about him being immune to execution. Jar and show not that. Okay, I think he's recovering health now, so... He's not meant to attacking us as well, I think. Okay, yeah, it was telling me that I had completed stuff. So. Right. Ouchie! Ouchie! I need to start moving you. <laughs> okay. Not immune to arrows, is he? Ciao. Good shot. Whoa. Looked like his face was disappearing there. I haven't been checking my Vendedigure chest. I need to do that. Online Vendetta target now available. Well, I think I've now... Um, done Vendetta missions in every region. Apart from the DLC, but I'll get to that later. Let's have a look at these chests. I got four chests. Goodness. I didn't start playing this game until after they stopped having the online shop for getting gear and stuff. Did they used to include orcs in these chests? Or some different kinds of chests? So I seem to remember hearing advertisements about that. But they stopped having the... Like, because it counted as microtransactions, they stopped having it after... All of the... Fallout from... Star Wars Battlefront. Which was good of them. That was probably the right move. Again, I wasn't playing this game at the time, so I don't know how cash grabby it was, but I think microtransactions in general have got a pretty negative connotation attached to them. After that, the developers have to be much more careful about how things come across. Nah, I like the one I have. But you know what? What, I, what I'm using right now is a lower level, but that's only like because I got it at a certain level, and I think this can be upgraded. Upgrade to Talion's level, yeah. I can do that. I've been forgetting to do that, because I've been at like a low level for so long. Upgrade to Talion's level. Yeah, legendary equipment I can't upgrade at will, um, at least until they get to tier 3, I think. And even then, I don't remember if I can upgrade them at will. Oh! Vendetta Cloak. This is different. This is that raggedy cape look I've been uh, aiming for. Reduces the duration of fire. Well, what's this one? Frostkeeper? Yeah. 
Oh, I remember that pretty easily. Yeah, I don't think I'll wear this cape for very long because it's not a strategic choice. But I want to see how it looks for a bit. Oh yeah. Oh crap, spiders. It was annoying timing. I already can't see myself. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not as keen on how it looks from the front since it hides his hair. I really like that look from the back though. With the hood and the ragged cape. Okay. Where was I going? Over there, I think. I've already lost my place though, so I might as well go after this Athildian. Weird. Ooh, two guys with stuff. Nice. I have, it's terrible. Where is this? Down there? So many guys with the stuff over here. More guys and stuff. Yeah, that good. Job. I think there is a Karagor coming this way, so get out of the way of that. Alright, is this still... yes, okay. It's still the one I'm looking for. Uh, best way to get there from here. Mm. Nothing. I don't know what was going on there. I ran into unexpected difficulty starting off Nanorimo this past year. And I started with action, which is a fairly common thing for me to do. I think it normally helps. Ooh, I'm glad I made that jump. I think it normally helps to build excitement early on in a story and get the reader hooked quickly. Just start with action. But I was struggling with this one for some reason, and I wonder if it was because... Uh, 
I was spending more time explaining stuff than I probably normally would with an opening scene. Not that there was a lot that needed establishing, but it was an introduction to a new kind of a world being not just a post-apocalyptic environment, but post-apocalyptic with particular forces at play. So I think it required a bit more setup than an opening action scene normally would. Because I was dealing with a lot of elements that the audience might not be used to. Particularly since it was also introducing Razor's head, which was a massive, like, battleship tank with all of these features involved. And you can introduce a bunch of crazy stuff like that in a movie and have it still go at the same pace, but in a novel format where you have to describe everything. Uh, it takes a bit longer when you're introducing something for the first time, and maybe that's why it felt a bit slow to me. So that's something I'm gonna try to remember and keep in mind for future projects, that when I'm starting off with an action scene, I need to start with what the reader is already familiar with, as opposed to the things that need introduction that I can describe with just a few words. Why are all your boys doing the same? Stupid globs! That's right, <laughs> snarl at me! Maybe I won't notice that you soiled your bitches! These guys are very high levels. And there's two legendary guys here. This could come in handy. Oh dang, walking. Okay, I had a feeling that I needed to counter, but I couldn't see who was attacking. Like, everybody's attacking everybody right now. Ooh! I saw that, but not... Uh, like, I didn't respond in time. Dang it, still blocking. I should probably have tried to recruit that guy, actually. He's a low enough level and there's nobody else around. Whoa, who else is broken? There's like a lot of broken guys all at once. I wonder why. Who are you? Oh, you're one of the legendaries. No, I want to kill you. Good job. Did that work? No. Okay. This is wrong. You won't kill me today. Ah, uh, dang it! Why not? Someone helping me. That seems to be the case. Good job. That was a pretty epic showdown. In the middle of a pit of fire. Uh oh, this guy's in rage now. And I don't think there's anybody else around. And I haven't recruited anybody, so I'm on my own. Okay, well, how long is he gonna stay enraged for? So I know he's become enraged, but I don't think that necessarily means that he stays enraged permanently. But then again, this guy has an, an apparently infinite number of spears. Yeah, he's not stopping throwing spears. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. Can I? No. Slaughter everyone up. I've spotted him! 
Oh, he's looking for me. Okay. Y'all gonna watch this? What? Is he? Oh, he's immune to frost. It looks like. Right. Yeah, he's not staying frozen. Would you describe yourself as rare, medium, or well done? Hog leak. Actually, I don't have any info on his uh, weaknesses yet. No point with that. Is he? Oh, I've got a charge. Okay. So I can do this. Ah, he can't fool me. Watch this. Still frostproof. I thought breaking people was supposed to disable that stuff. Ow. Someone is in range to shoot me. Who's doing that? <laughs> well, I managed it. Who the heck is shooting at me? Sweet, landed on the ladder. Unlock skill, sure. Let's take a look at this. I think I want to work towards a shadow strike. Those seem to repeatedly be like, why don't I have that? Feral, ah. Yeah, having enough feral stuff equipped at once allows you to mount unbroken grogs and drakes in that order. So it's very handy to have feral stuff available even if you don't plan on using it much. Just so that if the situation arises you can quickly equip as much feral, uh, feral stuff as you need. Just to mount something and then switch back. Comes in handy. Well, that's a lot of health. Less damage from enraged enemies. That's not particularly helpful to me. Nine health recovery per kill. That's kind of helpful. What's the other... Outlaw thing that I have? Is that the dagger? Because I'm kind of using that for the... Mystic bonus right now. Dominated grins take less damage. Now, out of the two, it is more important for me to have the Outlaw Tribe bonus. So we'll switch that back. Although it also means switching to this armor, which I don't particularly like the look of. Oh well. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the video and your 20 second warning before the start of the next video. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment to let me know what you think, and subscribe to stay notified about future content. Until next time, hope you're all staying safe, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.